Hey, what's going on? This is Side New 201, and I want to talk about trust. I want to talk about trusting yourself, really. So, you know, you're not always able to trust everyone around you. You're not able to trust other individuals, you know, your family, your friends, whatever it may be. Uh, but one individual, hopefully, you should be able to trust is yourself. And what I mean by that is you trust that gut uh, instinct that you have. You, you trust the those feelings that you have inside. You trust yourself when it comes to making decisions, uh, whether those are, you know, decisions with work, decisions with the business, decisions in life. Uh, overall, you know, you're, you're you're going on a date and you just you don't have a, the, the feeling that you have isn't right about the date and uh, you should trust yourself on that. If you're going into some type of business deal and you, it just it's, it's too good to be true, right? Well, sometimes it is too good to be true and you need to go ahead and look at it and you need to trust yourself. And the reason that I say trust yourself is I didn't always trust myself. I didn't always trust my gut. I didn't trust that, you know, intuition that I thought was there uh, and it came back to bite me in the butt sometimes. and. Now, luckily, I, I know that and I realize that I understand that, you know, the, the mindset that I have is a lot different on things overall uh, because I've learned that you can't trust everyone. Uh, you can't trust, you know, those, those that you think are closest to you. You can't trust your family. You can't trust your friends on all circumstances. And I'm, and I'm saying very, very broad. Uh, you, there are individuals, you know, I trust my family. I trust my wife. I trust, you know, some of my friends. I, I trust them with my life, with my kids' life, etc. But I'm saying broad, you know, you just can't always trust every single individual that you know that you come into uh, in, in contact with. Uh, but you should be able to trust yourself. And if you're able to trust yourself and you're able to go in and you're able to make these decisions based on those feelings, when the, uh, the time comes to do it, you know, you're able to look at that, you're able to know the feeling that you have inside usually does not lead you, you know, away from whatever goal it is that you're trying to accomplish. Say you're going into a business deal and, you know, things just, they don't sound like they should sound. Uh, you know, the, the black and white isn't how the black and white should Instead of you just being like, you know what, maybe it's just a t t uh, you know an error. Well, no, maybe it's not. Maybe it's not an error. Maybe that it's written wrong. Maybe it's more than an error. Maybe you know you're you're looking at it from the the wrong, you know, avenue of hey, yeah, it's just something minute. Well, guess what? Things that you think sometimes are you know minute uh, come back to bite you, and you need to make sure those things are good. You need to trust your gut instinct when it comes to you know going towards your successes and you're trying to build something. Say you're trying to build a business. Well, guess what? The, you know, the, the devil is in the details. And if you don't know that and you don't understand that and you don't look through every single thing, because every single one of us, I swear, every single one of us is, has, you know, looked at something uh, and it was like a contract and you just kind of, you know, glaze over it. There are very, I will say there's not a lot of individuals that read every single thing, all the fine print, right? Everybody has a phone. So everybody has, you know, signed a contract for a phone or a car or or something and doesn't mean that you've looked through every single little detail so uh, when, when those gut feelings that you have inside of you and you have these you know things that you're like ah, I don't really really know if I can do this or I don't know if I can you know trust this individual or trust this situation trust yourself trust that feeling trust that feeling that you know what it's not right trust it make the decision based off of that don't make the decision based off of some type of blindness of you wanting to get something done you thinking that it's the easiest way to do it it's you know the quick fix it's it'll get me closer to my successes overall because if, if you do and then come to find out that it was too good to be true you could actually be setting yourself back further than you really wanted to and now you have to start over now you have to go through and you have to, you know dig yourself out of the hole that you threw yourself into unknowingly because you were just too lazy to go through and read the fine print or too lazy to actually believe in yourself and trust yourself and trust you know those uh, intuitions that you that you have overall so at the end of the day if you're trying to go for you know your goals in life you're trying to go for t some type of success uh, whatever it may be you need to trust yourself you need to look at that and be able to say you know what at the end of the day I can trust myself I know that uh, when I go in and I make a decision, it's based off of the best decision possible because not only am I reading things, I'm looking at things, but I'm trusting myself overall. So until my next video, I appreciate you watching the Side New 201.